Hi, um, okay, so, uh, about the therapy staff, you can get this one at the dealer from the Ice Island, and it's just right here. He's right here at the middle, standing, and to get any of his prize pool though, just make sure that you don't have your current weapon, like that's it for example, your current weapon like the uh, drill and spade or the uh, pipe equip or any of your weapon that you don't want to lose because once you've got the target staff and you notice, oh hey, one of my weapons is gone, yada yada yada. Well, the problem is it's because you don't have it equipped and when they gave us like the mini update for this, they did warn us that we are gonna be losing our current weapon. So the fastest way to get the the tokens or the event tokens is from Pika, from the Pika dungeon. Once you have the Pika dungeon or you have a third act third C axis and you can do um Pika Dungeon and you can sell it. Well there's this that you can get. So the other way to get the token, beside from oh, the Pika Dungeon, is this. The dungeons right here, that are available. Though when I tried the dungeons in here, and to see if they would give like, um, gems, like, I tried on the Hawkeyes, and it did not give any gems. But, for the other raids, like the Candy Raid, Fujitora, the Punk, they are likely to give gems and the event tokens. However, uh, it is very slow to get like the event tokens. So I most highly recommend that once you have nearly access to 3rd C, and you can do um, pick a dungeon, yeah. You can do that though. Also, I recommend you, um, if you're new to 3rd use the Gear 5, and, uh, yeah. You have to use the Gear 5, heal a lot, spam the observation, hack a lot. Same as with the jumps of liberation, so you can tank it properly, for the full body hacking. Why am I saying that? Well, it's because if you nearly have access to 3rd yeah, I'm just saying. That you might need the full body hacky and the necessary hacky stats so that you can like tank Pika properly. And without further ado, it only for its move sets, it's just this. And it should mainly have the M1 as its only um, move set, but at least. Y'all first see players are probably gonna get a huge AoE sword. Probably not that huge. It's like there are some guys right here and Smoker is still alive. And it does this too. Which is pretty cool. So yeah. That's all from me. And and if you're wondering about the damage alone without these um, train marines, well, it's something like this though. And I've already maxed up the base damage. It does 17 million. If you're mainly a fruit user and you only have this as your title for the buff on the sword. Then let's do this, do this. Yeah, it only does that much damage. 197 million. Or can it be more than that? Yep, it's still the same. 187 million. So remember, gear 5, pick a dungeon, spam observation hacky, then the jumps of liberation, 
once you have like a decent amount of hacker stats to get like at least like one of the stages of the full body hacky, yeah. You can then farm the Pika dungeon properly by then. Even if you only have one of its or if you're only at that specific stage, like let's say um stage two and you're still stuck right there, yeah, it's still fine. So long as you are able to like solo it properly and you're doing a proper damage or yeah, rather proper decent damage. And while you're at it, go get uh, King of the Beast style so you can farm Pika faster. And uh, yeah, have a nice video. Peace out.